Welcome viewers. My name is Venus Kalita. I'm a blood elf mercenary and I'm on the road to healing and redemption by offering aid to anyone who needs it, belonging to anyone who wants it for as long as you need in the way that I can be there for you, like now. I'm hoping that I can count you as one of my new subscribers and I'm hoping to convince you that what I'd like to offer is something you might enjoy and that's pretty much all I can offer. I am a one-time conscript to a horrible war. You might know my kind more as Frost Death Knights and so you already know the gist of that if you've heard of them and it was such a long and horrible war seemingly never ending but one in which you could die for your country. Well I should say you can get killed for your country, but they're never going to let you die. Our numbers are dwindling for my species, and they've recruited all that they can. And as my species has very few children at a time to begin with, our beautiful long lifetimes are cut horribly short. I am a survivor. I have a first-hand understanding of trauma, violent crime, PTSD, having to rebuild one's own identity, starting over with nothing from scratch, insomnia, flashbacks, being a nomad, permanent nerve damage, and having to go into the future with disabilities that I was not born with. But, as I said, I'm a survivor. I'm on a healing journey, and in my path of redemption, I'm wishing to help other, other survivors, others in their healing journey, to give you support in healthy choices, and in all that I'm exploring to help myself, I want to share with anyone else. And I welcome you to share with me as well. Because each of us are precious. Our lifetimes are precious. We should feed not only our bodies, but our souls, our minds, our spirits, our personalities, our hopes and dreams. And in all that I create here through this channel, I'm hoping to support you in all of these endeavors. Well, in the meantime, if you check out my playlist for Brave Immortal Souls, you'll find out about my backstory and ultimately in my journey to create space and place of welcome, a makeshift family of our own choosing. Um, I am still seeking out my sisters scattered somewhere in the lands sometime after I was conscripted and taken from my home. I'm hoping to reunite them and I'm building a home where they can belong even after I'm gone. So I'm trying to restore as much as I can, but according to my own path, not the ideas of others, those days are over. So what I'd like to show you are some of the things that I do create here in my channel that might entertain you give you a chuckle, or very importantly, most of the things that are to do with healing and bringing joy back into our lives are all about getting that good night's sleep. We need peace in our mind, we need calm, we need focus, so that we can function better generally speaking. And for those of you out there who also are providing home, family, connection, belonging to others, that's a big responsibility. and. We all need support in continuing to be successful. That good night's sleep, well, that's at the core of everything, I think, and it's something that so many of us struggle getting. So let me show you. I'll try to step out of the way a little bit and share with you some of those things over here. So here's the first thing that I do, and, well, as I did mention, I come from a bit of a warring background, so here's my first video. Let me get out of your way just a little bit. Um, one thing that I will always continue to do, and it's an homage to where I come from in the first place, is I am a warrior. I'm strong. I kick butt. I'm not apologetic about it at all. And I face my demons. So here and standing up to all the things that are 
crossing our boundaries. <laughs> Every Sunday night, I will take us into Dragonflight, and one of my goals in game, because I was a gamer first, and I'll be gamer forever, <laughs> is um, going into level and gear up my eye level um, right in front of your eyes. And I'm chatting with my subscribers and my viewers as they pop in and out to see me <laughs> battle it out. And each week I only go in on the Sundays so you can see my progression as I go. Uh, this was my main ever since Lich King fell in love with her. And this is where Venus comes from. So that's me in all my glory from my birth <laughs> in the online world taking on taking on what I take on not shy about it it's okay now to explain where you're seeing me right now just to let you know oops bringing up over here again <laughs> my little buddy's helping me out this is my war room if you will or where I hold my guild meetings and in homage to all my gamer life, I just couldn't think of a better name to call it. So every Saturday when I feature anything, I come out weekly. It used to be around one in the afternoon, but I've learned to switch it down um, because I still am here while I am creating episodes and I am doing live shows uh, four, four times a week. Um, I'm here now making this trailer just after one month in as a VTuber and I have so much to learn, so many goofs. Um, I'm seeing, I'm considering making a playlist that's just called My Mistakes. Have a good laugh, I don't know. But this is my war room. This is um, an homage to my character's background linked, not to ancient Japan, but to ancient Rome. But that's okay because um, ancient Rome had a deal with India on the old Silk Road. I won't give you the history lesson, but I just love history. and. Um, the um, the Chinese back in the day protected it instead of raided it because they wanted it on the trade too. Look it up. Um, when you look up Silk Road, you're going to see something about Russia, India, and China today. But back in the day, it was actually with Rome. And uh, I love marble. I love ruins. I love anything to do with eagles and cobras, snakes. Uh, and... This is my marble background, and I chose it also because I wanted to have a nod to my original guild where I've been the guild master since Lich King and Cataclysm started, and our tabard was always a deep red with gold, and of course, Horde side, yes. Um, but I also, I'm a bit of a double agent. I also run a guild on the Alliance side too, nowadays, which is more active. However, back in our heyday, um, those officers came with me as I built other guilds. I helped them build guilds of their own as well. And when I opened up a guild on the Alliance side, they came with me there too. Uh, we've met each other in the real world, so many of us, and some of them are even subscribers here. So thank you to my guildies and in my homage to all of you. My hat's off to all those wonderful young teenage years together before we had to <laughs> finish uh, school and move on and some of you even have families and whatever. Um, we've had a good time. We've had a good run together. And this was a way for me to keep the persona alive and keep us in touch. And so this war room, uh, my marble wall here uh, with the red and gold inset, that is, that's a nod to us, Avitus Validus, um, the impervious immortality. Because again, each one of us is precious. And that is why... When I refer to you, all of my subscribers and viewers, um, anyone in our community as an M soul, it's my precious mortal soul. And I go on to explain that. Now you're not here to just hear me talk. I don't want to bore you too much, but I did tell you that I'm here to provide a public service, um, not only to help myself, but in trying to help myself realize a lot of people are going through the same thing as I have. So. What you're going to find on my playlist and some of the things I do live, tuck it and chill on a Friday night. Um, I try to um, show some of my various sleep guiding, meditation, focus, relaxation videos to hopefully help put you to sleep. Um, a lot of positive affirmations to deal with many different types of topics we could be struggling with. And I did... Um, 
learn about binaural beats and I try to layer them inside. I try to make them as inaudible as possible underneath layers. And that is why some of the things I do have duplicate and triplicate types of videos, one with music, one without, one with white noise of some kind. And if I know that my subscribers or my viewers are asking for particular background sounds or types of images, I do, I do try to make their wish come true and I let them know when this is something I had them in mind for when I did it. So um, keep an eye out if you're having trouble sleeping or having trouble unwinding of various lengths. Um, I did also plan and script and record some for the full eight hours, but unfortunately my system is unable to to complete it, um, so I'm trying to make them as long as I can for now. And I'm sitting on top of those other ideas. Um, so this is a very important one, and if you ever want to come out and, and chit chat, um, um, that is tucking and chill on Friday nights. And I do that alternatingly every other Friday night just because, again, I need to balance out my own. Um, real world and it is part of my promise to myself to stay healthy and here's the other side of the healthy bit people were really liking um, me doing riddles that led to DIY rewards you see if you do what I ask I will reward you with something something for self-care something for joy something just for fun because you know what you deserve to have fun and no one should feel guilty about taking the time to put some happiness joy laughter or fun in your life we need it we're alive now we need to do this so here we go on Tuesday nights and this is every Tuesday night so far um, so good I do the full bonus three-part menus and you don't know what it is you'll be cooking that night if you play along with me um, but I will choose three things made out of simple ingredients that won't take much longer, 10 or 15 minutes to put together. Um, the odd time something may, ne may need time to bake or chill. Uh, but the prep time is very small, usually using up things that are already usually in people's houses, although I am making certain assumptions that it's a North American fridge and cupboard and spice rack that I'm working with. However, I do try to be mindful and inclusive of other cultures too. But you know, all the cultures in the world come to where I live, so I pay attention to what my friends love to do. But tuck, um, this is called Riddle Me Din Din. I know I will need to workshop that, but so far it's sticking. Riddle Me Din Din and every Tuesday night. Now, there will be other episodes out there with DIY where a treat is not food because, you know, often people get into that. We reward with food or we're sad and we get emo and we soothe with food, we self-medicate with food, we distract with food, we fill our time feeling bored with food. I want to give you other options um, and this is something I had to learn for myself too. And so um, there are other riddles and those episodes also lead to other fun projects for self-care and to create something for fun. So that is something else you're going to find in my episodes now. Speaking of that, because I'm having people cook something else that I have made and people are using and it is helpful. I use them every day at work. I've made some time elapse timers, not the typical things with a countdown and then a buzzer that for me, I find that kind of stressful sometimes. So you've got the options of the same visual with music, silent or with some kind of background white noise sound and only in some cases I don't have the background white noise sound just because of the nature of whatever I was filming or what was going on when filming that day that I'm not able but if I can I program silence so you get a pure silence and then I just tell you when the time is up so so you don't feel nagged <laughs> but these timers many of them actually make mention of the different things you would be prepping or cooking or steeping or freezing um, in the episodes I do when when you are cooking with me on the Tuesday nights. So these are helpful. See, I don't leave you in the cold. I try to have your back. <laughs> and um, so when I'm asking you to do things that take up certain amounts of time, or I'm making the suggestions because I've found that I've done the research and it's been helpful to me. Um, and you'll if you if you uh, look into my playlist for the timers, you're you're gonna see I give suggestions of how to use it or what to use it for. Um, in the kitchen and also in 
um, changing life habits too. But uh, I'll hold on to that for a minute. And thinking of life habits, again, coming back to people get in pain. People end up with pain. We have surgeries. We have accidents. We have nerve damage. People get arthritis. There's all sorts of things that go on. Wow, I've met so many people that have back injuries and they've had uh, these operations for their spine and uh, I've met people that have broken their hips or their collarbones in gymnastics or, or football and and there's so much pain for the rest of their young lives I mean young lives young children young young people too it's not always just old age you get you get hit with these extra obstacles and you want to be as productive as possible and you want to be as mobile as possible for as long as you can and I say take care of every part of you don't forget the parts that work right um, because they they they're supporting the weight of everything else that that needs extra help so here are my product videos so if you go to my playlist there are just a few done for now but I'm in the works with others I test these products for a week or two at a time before I actually make a playlist for them um, here is the hand sleep uh, mattress pad with memory foam and yes I still have it and yes I still use it because if I think it's helping um, I want to tell you about it so that you know what's out there and I try to give you prices and where to find them uh, modern things. There's so many things out there and there's so many things we use or people give us but um, is it is it going to help? And now I do tend to explain my own biases or my own situations in the testing of them so you're only getting my opinion just as a regular schmo out there <laughs> but um, here's something else that I have for you. Speaking of that, regular people, regular problems sometimes just need someone to support them and and just you know, not tempt them against when they're trying to make a different choice. I don't, I've met people that sabotage. You hope they're your friends, you hold on to the friends you have. Sometimes it feels like we can't make friends in this world, it's hard. Um, some of us are comfortable with not having a lot of friends. Some don't know what to do when life changes that thing. So um, I try to make these shorts, and these shorts are one minute or less of. Um, the types of motivational, um, positive self-affirmations to help you get through things. So some of them are to attract wealth and abundance. Some of them are to try to help you stop smoking, for example. Some of them are just to motivate your sense of motivation. <laughs> it sounds, you know, a bit layered, but um, I'm trying to do them. So again, I don't want anyone to feel nagged. These are things that I've looked up to help myself with. And so I just want to be there for you and the way I would have needed someone to be there for me, not to make me feel bad about anything, just not to make me feel nagged, um, but just because I just want someone to like, just let me make my choices and stand by it. Now, this is the last thing I'm going to show you. It is the thing that I had created before deciding to get into VTubing when I was going to launch a series of three novels um, if I could get picked up by Blizzard. I really love the World of Warcraft world and I had written these backstories about the Triveni and this Venus Kalita being the eldest sister. So there's actually quite a lot in store that could possibly be stretched out for a couple of years here which I thought would be a good basis. I don't see this modern world as a place where book publishers are easily selling books anymore. I mean they might but a lot of people I know who are really great writers really struggle and go to a lot of conventions. It takes a long time to move their product, even though it's excellent and screenwriters and playwriters are all over them. This here is the series from the playlist, Brave Immortal Souls. You're going to see again, ancient ruins, ancient Rome. You know, in the world, my first subscribers got the idea before I had um, a rigged avatar to talk to you from. I I wanted to make sure that I wasn't plagiarizing anybody. I was using only free things. These are photographs I took in the real world and ran them through Corel Draw, Corel Paint, um, and again using only the free systems. You'll see that my earliest videos will get remade over time and I'll feature them on our Saturdays when we get together and chat. But um, these are my journeys in the world of Warcraft. It's war. Things got blown up. Things were destroyed. and people get parts of themselves blown up and feel like they've been stripped apart and 
and they're starting over. And even when we make full recoveries, um, with the help of others or just having to have that resilience by ourselves from within, um, we're never quite the same. It is a little bit different. There's nothing wrong with that. So we rebuild and we've got this structure. Um, so I think of it as very symbolic. Um, we're always going to have some scars, bruises, things have changed, pieces might be missing now. Um, you know, and we still have to keep going forward. We still, I, you know, you don't have to. I would like to encourage you all to choose this side of life and hang out with me. And if things are too stressful, I hope that you'll turn to my channel and, and just be entertained or feel like you're not alone. You're not the only one. I mean, I can't be there physically, but that's part of why I talk about my soul and your soul and being there in the way that I can be through this medium. But isn't it a wonderful miracle that I can reach around this entire planet and you can reach back and that big pond in the middle on any side of us um, doesn't, doesn't stop us from reaching out if we can get some Wi-Fi. So I hope for everybody to have an abundance of Wi-Fi forever. Now, that's pretty much all that I can show you right now. I, I, ho I hope and encourage you to explore my playlists. And I hope that if you find me helpful or entertaining or fun or soothing um, in any way, then, then I'd be so proud that I've, I've, I'm reaching my goal um, to do that for you. And I'm hoping to build a community here, um, an online family, if you will, of choice for as long as you need. Um, for as long as it serves you and of course I love to have fun with the requests of my subscribers too there are already some videos in there <laughs> where I, d I try I tackle my own personal fears um, so that I can try to amuse them and um, eternal flame I was glad to hear from you yesterday that you really appreciated my bouncing head for this song I made for you <laughs> at your request. And, and I'm up for that. Let's have some fun together. Things don't have to be always sad. We, we can, even in grief, in times of deep grief and um, things are crazy, we've got to, for our own sense of health and well-being, try to remember, take care of you. Take care of yourself. And so that's why often I will sign off um, and say, you know, keep taking care of you. Nothing makes me prouder. Don't give up on yourself. Be your best friend. And I'm here to remind you that in case everyone else around you, if you feel are taking you for granted or you feel invisible or whatever it is, you just feel like no matter how hard you try, something's just not working out the way you had hoped. And I get that. <laughs> I'm the foot in the mouth person all the time, trying not to do it here. But I can just say I know how it feels and um, just come and hang out with me. We don't have to talk. If you let me know you're just there to listen, um, I'll leave you alone. If you're there to chat, let's chat um, in the middle of my shows. The only time that I will not be looking at the chat window is while I'm previewing one of my new videos or I've revamped one of the old ones and I want to relaunch it during the Friday or Saturday nights for sleep videos and for in general on our guild meetings on Saturdays. So I've talked a lot and I don't know if you're still here watching, but if you're still here with me at the end, thank you so much. I hope you found this interesting and informative and I really hope you will support me and my channel um, and join us. Please hit that like button. Please subscribe. Please be one of us, my precious mortal soul. I promise I won't always call you that. I use the acronym MSOUL um, so that I can refer to all of my uh, subscribers in, in, in an acronym. Um, and I keep everyone's names private if I do learn who you are. I will use your gamer names uh, as well or whatever names you're logging in with. Um, so everything's still private. And I hope you will choose to join me. I'm excited. I'm only one month in and I'm seeing so many good things happening and I'm getting so much feedback and I also appreciate all the constructive criticism because I'm using it to tweak what I do every single week. Um, this is a lot of fun. Yes, I have a day job. <laughs> yes, I go to school, but I am 
also balancing making sure I still have a physical life to take care of my health. Um, and so I'm going to start off today with I hope you've had a chance to have a walk, some fresh air, and a cup of water because I've lived and I've almost died honestly three times because of living in lonely places in the northern half of our world in extreme temperatures <laughs> where trees can't grow, <laughs> where you can't put a seed in the ground and grow a crop, and, and I'm not a hunter. So um, when water is poisoned, you can't get fresh water. Um, I know what that life is like and and I've been very lucky to still be here and I'm rebuilding and trying to protect my organ health. This is all real. So whenever I feed this into my stories, whenever I feed this into the shorts, these are my real journeys, some of my real conversations, some of my real thoughts to myself or the powers that be out there in these moments of worry um, and always trying to heal, always trying to protect and do well, make better choices. I mean, I'll still binge, but I'll pay for it. So I will, if I'm sitting down um, doing a show with you guys, I am having, I've got a whole carafe of water here. I like to, you'll find out I like to keep it fresh. I appreciate the simple things like a walk, fresh air, clean water. And um, that's the real part of me coming in through this beautiful avatar. So as I sign off, I want to say thank you, Eridante, who can be found on Facebook. That's how I first met you. And in Fiverr um, for being the mother of my avatar, Venus Kalita. And thank you, Nikhil Sapra, can also be found in <laughs> Steam and um, Discord and Twitter and Fiverr and part of the V2 Roland community. He and his team are responsible for my rigging. And I'm just having the best time. And over time, uh, if I grow, if I grow large enough and if I can monetize, I will definitely invest a little more into a little more rigging. Um, there's a bigger vision in store for the things I can do regarding health online, things that I do in the real world that I'd like to bring here that I know give a bit of joy and some fun. Um, I'm doing <laughs> some really bad shorts right now, trying to like edge at some of those things. But um, over time, with your support, um, I, I will be able to grow even more and I will do even better. There's such a big plan. So many scripts that are half written. And I'm so excited. So I'm going to let you go now because this is much longer than I thought it would be. I don't know what other people's trailers are like. I looked up one of my favorite heroes in ASMR and I can't find one for them. <laughs> but they're so popular, I don't think they need one. <laughs> but I'm going to give it a try because it's a suggestion from one of the makers that have posted their information for free on YouTube. Thank you everyone who supports all the rest of us trying to grow, learning from what you've learned. Um, thank you for being so so caring and generous. It's really helped. And thank you every subscriber. Thank you every returning viewer. I know some of you don't want to have to make Gmail accounts in order to be able to like my videos, but thank you for continuing to watch me anyways. Cord Rogue, a shout out to you. Thank you for that. And thank you for all my gear. Shouting out to Noriyama and Cord Rogue for trying to help me gear up so I won't look so pathetic when I launched um, <laughs> into the dragon flight with all of you, my viewers. So have a wonderful day. Um, have a wonderful week ahead. I hope you have a lovely glass of water, <laughs> hot or cold, whatever, whatever you like most. And I hope that you will click like and subscribe. Please join us. Please be one of our community. You're very welcome here. And if you're not sure, please keep passing through and view as you like. Have a wonderful day. I'm signing off. This is Venus Kalita.